if you spend some time on freezer burns, then you might stave off the stomach churns. Rex the frozen food master, he's best bud to your taste buds. Oh yeah, turn it down, so. Well, maybe you can't see that because it's kind of far away. But we are reviewing. Want me to hold it out there for us? Gino's East of Chicago. Authentic deep dish pepperoni pizza. $7.99. Two pounds of food, Shane. Wow. Two pounds of food. I, I tell you, I have been to Gino's in okay. Chicago, too. So this will be the ultimate test. Now, let me ask you, Shane. Do you like uh, deep dish pizza? I do. I like all kinds of pizza. Me too. What? Look at this. That's some thickness, guys. Okay, I, I want you to... Um, can you hold this? Just hold on for a second, guys, all right? I, I want you to hear this. Ready? I'm gonna drop this pizza. I want you to hear the thud, okay? Everyone be quiet. That's a two pound thud. That is a two pound thud. That's a lot of pizza. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the oven. Can you read the uh, directions, please? Absolutely. Uh, first of all, a comment on the packaging. Yes. It's it's pretty much what you'd expect, the checkerboard top and all that and, and Gino's packaging and all that. But what's kind of neat is the uh, Gino's East story on the back and a picture of Gino's. And I like I said, I've been to this Gino's uh, and it's uh, it's actually kind of a neat, uh, neat, kind of busy, but kind of a neat package. Um, but here's the thing with this pizza. You saw, it, hold up the size or hold it up one more time. That's eight, eight servings. Okay, so those aren't incredibly huge pieces, but it is deep. Um, it but here's, two servings. But it, yeah, no kidding. But here's the deal, and this is pizza, and it's a deep dish, so I, I think this is actually pretty good. 16 grams of fat. That's not bad at all. 16 grams of fat, um, and it has a gram of fiber. I don't know where that's coming from. Um, and 13 <laughs> grams of protein. So. I'd say 16 grams of fat for pizza is not that bad for a, for a piece of pizza. Remove pizza from carbon, remove plastic wrap and cardboard circle. Did that. Keep cardboard circle to cut and serve finished pizza on. We're going green here. It's Earth Day after all. Yep. Position oven rack in center of an oven and preheat to 400 degrees. Done. <laughs> you said rack. Place, <laughs> place frozen pizza in center and directly on the... Oh. I gotta put it right on the rack. I hate that. Okay, so here's what you do. So I'm gonna put this put under, on the rack yes, and put this underneath. Done this before. It. Yeah. Okay. Good. I cook pizza before in the oven. But here's something to consider, right? Uh, this is a deep dish style, not with the cheesy cheesy on the top that typically mm -hmm. goes over the edge yep. and then stinkifies your whole kitchen because it burns on the on the grill yep. on the rack. I'm gonna stick this on the bottom. I'm gonna stick this directly on the rack, and yep. then we're gonna set it for what? 40 to 45 minutes. Yes, that's a lot of talking. I mean, you can't, you gotta just like it all. Could have been in for longer. Okay. Um, it's not quite, uh, it's I mean, not raw. It's, yeah, it's not raw by any means. It's kind of just, it's like just warm. But mm. I love mm. the taste. I really like it's the not taste. warm. It's not just warm, it's hot. No, oh, it's not hot. Really? It is piping. Oh. Here, let's well, do it. Let's uh -huh. do an experiment if you don't think it's warm. Take your pants off and stick it on your inner thigh and let's see how long you keep it on there. If yeah. it's warm, you can keep it on there all night. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, okay. okay, so let me explain something. Um, there is a whole lot of tomato going on, which is the style, right? Uh, and I like on it. On top, I'll and like it's good. It. It's, like, it's like you opened a can of stewed tomatoes and got rid of the little ends and seeds that you mm -hmm. know the can people tend to leave on there because they're too lazy to take out. Good flavor. I'm and loving the, this. The pepperoni is almost incidental with this. The the cheese and crust and tomato sauce mix. 
that said though, there is, is pepperoni. There's, there's plenty of pepperoni. There is. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I'm not saying that you can't even see it. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is, it's just, um, it is a single line in a harmony of flavors. Yeah. But, and the reason yeah, why I bring that up is because sometimes you have pizza where it's just like, oh my god, there is, like, yeah, I know it's at Pepperoni Lovers, but I can't even taste anything else except pepperoni. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is a nice balance. Agreed? I really like this. What do you think of the crust? Very good. Very good crust. I'm really liking this. I'm gonna give this, um, the debate is between four and four and a half stars. Okay. I think it is really good. Okay. I don't know what it would take to get to five, but- Now remember, this is $8. $8? God. If you were home- I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna do four and a half stars. If you were home and hungry, you could eat this whole thing, correct? Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Real good. Four and a half? Mm-hmm. Come on, master. I, it's definitely in the four. It's not a five. I don't think it's a four and a half. Mm -hmm. I think it's a four. Mm -hmm. I think it's a solid four star. Um, quantity is good. Price is not bad considering what you get. I mm -hmm. mean, you, you figure you're paying, in most cases, five ninety nine to six ninety nine for a DiGiorno, mm -hmm. right? And although it might have more um, come on, geometry. More um, diameter, a greater diameter. Yeah. I think in terms of total mass or total weight, mm -hmm. it's probably equal.